What is up guys? It's your boy Junior. I'm back with another video, another Nissan mod. Uh, man, so I got a lot of things in the mail, so there will be a lot of videos coming. So stay tuned, definitely stay tuned. Today, I'm going to be going over wiring the LED lights and the grill and the new grill that we installed. Now, I it took me a while. I couldn't I couldn't record me actually wiring the uh, the lights. So I'm just going to kind of give you a rundown on what I did to get the uh, LED lights to work and turn on and so forth. Um, and the reason why I wasn't able to record me actually wiring it was because we have been getting a lot of rain right now here in Southern California. So that's been a little bit of an issue or it's been a little bit of a setback, I would say. But hey, we're here. I have a lot of more videos coming, so stay tuned. Now let's go ahead and jump into the wiring on these uh, LED lights for, and this, you can do the same thing. It, it works for uh, Tacomas and basically any truck now and i'll get into the specifics a little bit later but let's go ahead and get uh let's go ahead and jump into the video let's get it all right guys so there we have the led lights so one two three four and i'm just going to give you a rundown on how i wired these all right guys so there are a few things that you will need and i'll go ahead and list them also um in the link or i'll i'll list the link in the description so where you can purchase them i got mine on amazon um you could also find them if you're trying to get them like asap that same day i believe autozone and o'reilly's carries them walmart might even have them um but let's go ahead and get into it so the first thing you'll need is a Adafuse fuse right here and this is a mini fuse um i'll go ahead and li uh, list the exact one that you might need so it does depend on what vehicle you have i have a 2017 uh, nissan frontier this is a desert runner package um this one requires a mini fuse here and if you look here it has two slots one where you'll add your existing uh, fuse and then another slot where you'll add uh, the new fuse now I believe yeah the existing one goes in the first slot right there closest to the pins so at the bottom and the top one is where your new uh, fuse will go I don't really know if that if it matters in which direction it goes but that's the way I did it and it works for me all right guys so once you have um, added your uh, fuses in the add a fuse the next step um, before even connecting the fuse to your lights your add a fuse to the lights you want to make sure or you want to know you want to figure out where you want it connected to so what i did was i wanted my i wanted my uh led lights to be connected to my fog lights so every time that i turn my fog lights on and these are the stock fog lights that came with the truck every time that i turn my fog lights on those led lights will turn on as well um because i'm also going to be uh tinting the the fog lights orange to match the led lights in the in the grill but yeah so um that's what you have to do next is figure out which fuse you want it to so what so where do you want to add it to me i want i want the led lights to come on when the fog lights come on so i have to find in my fuse box where my fog lights are located or where the fuse for my fog lights are located um on my specific truck the fog lights are located on f10 so let's go ahead and take a look at the fuse box so here we have uh the fuse box so you have um a relay box i think this is right here a fuse box here in the hood and then you also have another one um in the glove compartment but the one that i need is actually here in this box so i'm gonna go ahead and open it up here so it has two clips there and then one on the other side Press those in and pull the butt, pull the lid off. All right. So here we have our fuse box. Here's our fuses. And most cars and trucks, um, they do come with extra fuses. Um, so you'll have to figure that out. What you want to do is look at your fuse box to see, um, you know, where these items are located. So uh, what I had to look at was not on this lid right here. Um, but just to kind of give you an idea, so you have your, shows you your horn relay. This is the front right there. So there's the front and it shows you the horn relay is related, uh, related right there. There's a spare right there. So nothing's connected there. And if you look here, it matches, right? There's a horn relay, spare, nothing's connected there. So it's just a little map um, <clears throat> of your fuse box. Now, what I'm interested in is finding F10 and F10 is not located on this side, which is with the indicator here on this lid. So I need to look back here. Now, there is another um, 
there isn't really another map <laughs> you have to kind of figure it out um there is a table here and i'll show you what slot is for what fuse so if you look here um i need to look for f10 so i found the f10 is right here for the fog lights and that's the one that i want to tap into so f10 it tells me it's a 15 amp fuse um so what i did was i located the f10 and it's here i already connected the add fuse and here's the add a fuse right there as you can see there's the add a fuse the prongs of the add a fuse go in there and then um the closest one to the bottom is my uh original fuse you see the light blue you can kind of see it there and then and then this light this uh, transparent blue here is the new fuse both 15 amp um, you do want to make sure that you add the correct fuse. If you have a 15 amp, it requires a 15 amp, make sure you add a 15 amp. Um, I'm not an electrician. I just follow uh, things by the book. So you got to be very careful. Anytime you're touching and playing or do anything with the fuse box, be very careful. Um, so there you go. Uh, there's my added fuse. And okay. I found out it was F10. I took out the original fuse and it connected the added fuse. So let me grab it so I can show you what it looks like. All right, guys, so here's what it looks like. This is my added fuse right here. And this these prongs go connected to that slot there. So you, you plug it in like that. Um, now I gotta rewire this because <laughs> I pulled it out, it's okay. So here we have the prongs that we connect directly to the fuse slot. And then we have our original fuse at the bottom and then at the top we have our new fuse both 15 amp and so what we'll do is we'll just connect it in that slot right there see the empty slot that's for the fog light that's my f10 if you did want to connect it anywhere else for example your headlights um there's one for the left hand side and one for the right hand side you choose you figure out which one you want to connect it to i want it um if you want it you know whenever the headlights come on um i just wanted it to, to be uh connected with my fog lights i just want them to both turn on the same time I just thought it would be cool, but you can choose where you want yours. Obviously, you have to check the amperage for uh, the fuse you're pulling out, making sure that you match it. But here we have our add a fuse. And so you can see here on the add a fuse. So that's how we connect it to the fuse box. All right, guys. So before we move on to the next step, that's how you connect it to the fuse box. So you plug it in right there. And that's how it fits. Um, you might have to move things around for it to fit but uh it worked for me and then next thing is just trying to figure out you know how to wire but before you do that before you plug it in obviously you want to wire it to your uh lights right so what we do is add a wire has a crimp connector right there where you crimp it and then a heating uh you can heat to seal it i didn't have a heating gun and i didn't want to at the crimp was just perfect for me you pull it and it's not loose it's tight that's all that matters um but it wasn't necessary for me but if you want to go the extra route and be safer i definitely recommend doing so or even um you can add electrical tape around it too is what probably what i'll do now um but yeah so this wire right here is the wire coming from the lights and as you can see um i already have it wired in right here but here we have the lights coming from i mean the wire coming from the lights and here's the the harness so it's every individual led light and they all clip in with the each light clips in individually like that i do have to organize these wires so they're not all loose and all over the place um but yeah so this harness and i showed you the guys in the other video what it looks like but this harness has uh four connections one's for each light and then it leads with the uh and then at the end on the other side is a negative and a positive wire which the uh negative or i'm sorry yeah the positive goes to the fuse box and the negative and then the ground wire you connect it to a grounding bolt now sorry i'm all over the place i'm kind of finding trying to find the best way to explain this to you but our add a fuse right so this is our red wire coming from our lights okay straight from our lights so you're gonna have a black wire and a red wire coming from your lights now we already went through the where the red wire goes connected to which is a fuse box but you have to first connect it to the added fuse. So you have a bare wire there. You insert it here and then you crimp it, lock it. And now you connected those two wires, right? So now this wire, this red wire is connected to this wire. That's the lights. And then you have your connection. All right, guys. So that kind of, that kind of sums up the add a, the add a wire. I'm sorry, the add a fuse. I'm sorry. 
and how that wire goes connected to your lights. So now that we're past that, we're gonna move on to the next step, um, which I recommend doing first. All right, guys, so we went over the add a fuse. I know it's a little confusing. I hope it was, uh, wasn't too bad. Um, but the next thing you'll need uh, are some grounding clamps um, or uh, these clamps here uh, to ground um, or grounding rings. I can't remember the right, I can't remember the, the right name. Um, anyways, um, I bought these on Amazon, um, a pack, so I'll show you what it looks like. This is the, pack, the box that I got right here. Um, it was about six bucks, seven bucks extremely cheap for 125 pieces i don't think i'll ever need this many um but it's a bargain i was like you know what why not have have it just in case um and that's what they look like so your ground wire goes in that tube there same concept you're gonna crimp this um right here you're gonna slip the wire through there crimp it and then uh heat shrink it um or tape it whatever works best for you um whatever is more secure is what i recommend um but sometimes you got to work with what you got so i definitely get it uh the one that worked for me i believe is this one so the i know i think the lighting kit i think it's 18 gauge this was a 16 gauge i don't remember man but um anyways it's a thin wire um these do go by gauges i ended up using this one and worked perfectly this is a 10 to 12 gauge i want to say it was a 14 or 16 gauge wire um but the lower the number the thicker the gauge the higher the number the thinner the the wire so because i had a thinner wire and went with the thicker one that didn't really doesn't matter um this is the one that works for me um this clear one here actually let me verify uh, yep this is the one that worked for me so anyways um <clears throat> you have a whole box here you could play with to see which one works best for you but so you'll add your your wire in here, your ground wire, right? Your black wire. I'll show you. So, all right, guys. So once you connect your ground wire to this here, you're gonna go ahead and then put that grounding bolt through here, and then you'll be all set. So you'll have your ground wire running through here, this inside of the bolt, and bam, you're all set. Secure it like I did with tape. <laughs> Still make it look as ugly as I did, but uh heat shrink it it works the best i did go ahead and secure also the fuse back in here and i did go ahead and um you know line the wire outside just so it's out of the way and i did the same thing right here there is some wire clips that you can actually utilize right here as you can see and i did that i used these wiring clips i kind of put it through here and then put it through the grill but uh anyways um Anyways, uh, yeah, so ground it first and then connect your your, uh, your uh, add a fuse. That's pretty it. That's pretty much it, guys. It's, it's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. I'm not a mechanic and I'm not an electrician and I was able to do it myself. Um, I did a lot of research and I found some videos. So I just kind of thought I'd give my input in the way that I did it. This is my Nissan Frontier 2017. I didn't see any videos on this specific truck on how to add um these lights or this grill um so i'm pretty excited to be the first one doing that and i thought i'd bring that to you guys here so follow my video for more or follow my channel for more of these videos more mods on the nissan frontier all right guys so that's the led lights there that kind of um that kind of sums up on how to wire your led lights if you have any questions please feel free to send me a, a message comment whatever it is reach out to me i will list my my uh my email in case you guys want to reach out to me um sponsors whatever it is i'll leave my contact info uh but that's pretty much it guys uh, i'm gonna go ahead and turn these on so you guys can see that they actually work and how it works for me but let's get to it i'll show you guys what it looks like all right guys so there you have it there's my led lights. see how it works perfectly they light up and then my fog lights right there bam so i'm gonna be tinting these orange to match those and i just got the paint uh in today uh and i'll kind of go over that too i'll show you a video on what how to do uh how do i get that done uh but there you go there's the led lights they all turn on when the fog lights turn on so another thumbs up hit that like button this video has been a success all right guys so another successful mod um here on my nissan frontier thank you guys for watching thank you for sticking around 
Thank you for uh, clicking on this video. Hope you guys like it. Subscribe, comment, you know, engage. Um, let me know what else you would like to see. Uh, I'm gonna keep uploading videos um, on my Nissan Frontier. Uh, so make sure you guys uh, stay tuned. Thank you guys for watching. I love you guys. Peace.